Broken windows policing started as a theory that if you see a broken window and you don't fix it, then other broken windows would follow. But through the lens of the NYPD, instead of if you see a broken window, you should go fix it. It became, if you see a broken window, you gotta go arrest the guy that broke it. The Museum of Broken Windows is designed to dramatize, really, what's so profoundly wrong with, with this excessive policing. The marquee installation when you first walk in the door is this NYPD cruiser, this symbol of oppression and violence remediated through plants and organic matter. It's just an incredibly moving and hopeful moment. A piece of art in the exhibit called The Talk. It's depicting a conversation that black families have to have with their kids that white families are privileged to not have. The Talk is about how does a young black teenager survive the inevitable encounter with the police? This piece called And Counting, it's this incredible installation and they are toe tags with the name and information of everyone who was killed by the police in 2016. And there's more than 1,000 of them here. We commissioned watercolor portraits of family members who have lost a loved one to violence by the NYPD to memorialize and recognize and honor that loss, but also to celebrate the power that these family members have harnessed. Stop and frisk, the school to prison pipeline, marijuana arrests, other low-level arrests, that's Broken Windows policing. The purpose of this exhibit is to bring the stark reality of Broken Windows policing home to New Yorkers of all shapes and sizes. Art can speak to people in a way that statistics never can. So we're hoping that by experiencing this, New Yorkers are walking out saying, I have a role to play here and I have to take action.